after finishing the design and modeling phase of a project, we all know that creating documents, adding details, and placing dimensions can take a lot of time. It's one of those tasks that feels slow but is so important. So let's see how we can make it smoother, faster, and much better. If you go to annotate section, you can see this dimension panel in here. As you can see in this part, we have different types of dimensions, aligned, linear, angular, radial, diameter, arc lengths, okay? Each one of these options can be used in our project for different parts, but we mainly use this aligned or linear for a plan like this. The way we create dimensions usually is by first creating it in the exterior side for the whole length of the plan from this part to here or from this side to this part and then creating a smaller dimensions for the details and then going to the interior side, right? For example, the way we can create dimension with this aligned is to click on it and then click on one of the references and the other one and then click outside. Okay, this is how you can create simply a dimension like this. Then if we want to continue this, we can click on this aligned and then we are going to click on all of these grids one by one this way to the last one. Okay, this is going to be the second layer. And after that, we are going to click on the, the smaller details. For example, this grid first, then this window, then this part, and then these windows, the smaller parts in this section, on this grid, and then in this door, then the other part, for example, in this grid, this window, this part in here, Okay, and then this section, this part in here, this one, and this window, and at the end, this grid like this. Okay, this is the way we can create dimensions for the plan. Okay, but as you saw, if you want to do this for all of these parts, it will take a lot of time, and also it's not accurate because we are not sure if we are clicking on the right part or not and also there are some details that we can create dimensions for for example in this part if you want to add this section from this grid to here you need to select your dimension and then with this edit with this line you're going to click on this part if you cannot select it because if we uh, go to this align section again if you look at this part it is set on wall center line if you want to click on this part for sure you need to click on tab or switch this to wall faces this way you can simply click on this edit witness line and then add it like this in here okay this side or this side but there is a way that we can delete these two parts and create whatever we want much faster for this part if you click on this align section first i will choose this wall faces because i want to have both faces of my walls and then in this next part in peak section i'm going to switch this individual references to entire wall so when we select a wall we can create dimensions for all of the details that we have on it now if you select this wall and click on here you can see the dimension is from this start to end of this wall we also have this option activated when we use this entire wall if you click on this part you can see some very very helpful options for example one of them is this intersecting grid if you check this option and click on ok when you select your wall this wall or any other wall you will have the same dimensions and the grids in here you can see this is the gap between the face of your wall and this grid and then the dimension between these two grids in the other side as well and also in this part we can see the same if you switch this wall faces to center line let me just put it in here if we switch this to wall center line and click on this wall again we can see just simply the wall and the grids in here okay so for example for the second layer of the dimension that we want to create i'm going to delete these two and then in this part i will choose this wall center line and from this part i'm going to check this intersecting grid then when i select this wall 
and click in this part we can have just the dimension between all of these grids without selecting all of them one by one okay especially in this part where we have a lot of grids this way okay this is a very helpful way that we can use in this part since we selected this wall we have this extra section in this part if you want you can just simply delete this part and then create a dimension between these two grids this way okay for the next layer for the details in here we are going to switch this to wall faces and from this options section i will also check these intersecting walls so if we have any wall that is not on an axis is not on a grid we will have the dimension for that too right now since we have this wall face and these two options checked we already can have even more dimension more details in this part if i select this wall and click in this part if you want to see all of the details i'm going to select it go to edit type and duplicate this one let me make this smaller 1.5 click on ok and change the size of the text text size i'm going to put this on 1.5 and ok we can see most of the details in here and if you don't want to see it this way we can again select it go to edit type and in this primary unit i'm going to switch this to millimeter and like centimeter is much better and i will put this on zero decimal places click on ok and ok this way we can see all of these details much better however it's not professional to see two different units for your dimensions so i suggest to change the dimension change the primary unit for this part too this way it looks much better and then in here we can do the same i'm going to click on this part select my wall and click on this section before i click i want to change the type since i can't i'm going to place it in this part and then i will change it from here but again since we have details on both sides of this wall i prefer to delete it and add it after i finish the other side for here again i'm going to click on this align dimension and in this part i will also check this opening section with this option set on centers I will have another dimension for the for example in this part i will have a dimension in the center of this opening this window if it is a door i'll have a dimension in the center of that door if you don't want to have the center you can switch to this width and then you will have the size the gap between these two parts you will see the width of your opening if it is a window or a door okay this way it is much accurate it is much better to like dimension your window your door or any other thing like that i usually set this part on bits because i think it will give us more information i'm going to click on ok and then if i select my wall i can see all of the dimension you can see the width of my window the gap i have between this window and this grid line and then from this grid line to the other side of this window also for this part we can see the size of this wall you can see we have nine millimeter on this side and nine millimeter for the other side this is the size of this wall because we activated this option in here intersecting walls right and after that i can see the gap between this section this wall and this window and to the last part in here i'm going to sit and align it exactly with this line to here and then i'm going to select it and change its type to this one now that we have all of the detail and dimensions in here we can go to this align dimension again uh, let's keep this on wall faces for this section go to options and uncheck this intersecting wall and also intersecting grids click on ok i can just simply select my wall and create its dimensions accurate dimensions like this in here okay also if you don't want to have something like this this time for only this section you can create your dimension switch this to individual references put this on wall faces i think is okay click on this edge of your wall 
click on this part in this side and at the end on this face and in this part and this way you have created your dimension with the cleanest possible way to take this into another level you can also select your dimension go to edit type and change these witness lines okay in here you can see witness line control it is set on gap to element and you will have this value this dimension between the dimension and any element okay i'm going to switch this to fix to dimension line so you can have it on a fixed value to this dimension line not to the element this way and um, these witness line will connect it to this dimension i'm going to put this on one i think usually one is enough click on apply and okay and now you don't have any extra annoying lines anymore this way is also very helpful for creating dimension for the interior side too and also you can use it for the other axes other sides exterior or interior too so i hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial if you learned anything from it don't forget to like and subscribe if you have any suggestion for our next video leave it on the comment section i definitely read and consider them for our future videos Thank you so much and I will see you next time.